Okay, welcome back to Kirby Superstar Ultra, everyone. Not gonna lie, I'm actually really excited to play this game again. I've honestly forgotten just how fun this game is, and the volume is messing with me again. There we go. Alright. Now, um, uh, between sessions... Um, uh... Oh, really? Sure. Okay, cool. Um, uh... Um, between sessions... I am, uh... I'm ended up playing the original uh, Kirby Superstar. Um, uh, just for fun. And, um, uh... Okay, so... Two things to note. One, the controls... <laughs> and the buttons are in different places, so I just need to adjust this real quick. Okay. Also, um, uh, that one puzzle I got stuck on, um, uh, for a while now, I figured out, um, uh, what I was doing wrong, and I, I feel insanely stupid that I didn't figure it out sooner. Oh, right, hammer. Uh, where's the nearest place for hammer again? <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> well, okay, I could go for stone instead, but I'd rather have hammer. Because my as useless as bonkers is, the hammer ability itself is pretty good. I don't have to tempt, because I have to fight bonkers. Oh, and the Meta Knights. Huh. Oh. Really? One sliver? Okay. But okay, I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm in addition to, I'm, uh... I'm figuring out what I'm supposed to do and feeling like an idiot for it. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? All right, old-fashioned way, stars. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm in addition to I'm uh, like I'm uh, learning how to. Um, uh, do that one puzzle. Oh, right. For some, some reason, I thought they gave you bomb. But yeah, I'm, uh... I've also, um, uh... I'm played through, I'm, uh, Great Game Offensive on... On the original Superstar. To essentially get a bit of practice in, I also went ahead and I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm done the other modes as well, like Revenge of Meta Knight and Milky Way Wishes. To be fair, I didn't exactly, like, want to practice. I just wanted to do, like, a little bit of Great Cave Offensive. But... I don't know. I just ended up, um, uh... Find myself enjoying it too much. Now, I didn't 100% uh, Milky Way Wishes. Oh, right. This is just to... And I'm, uh, I'm gonna try and 100% Milky Way Wishes. I don't know how well I'm gonna do, though. Odds are I'm gonna get stuck... Just like I did here. But... You know what? I don't really have any major complaints about that. In some cases though, like, I'm uh, trying to figure everything out is part of the fun. That's why I was a little against I'm, uh, looking up a, a guide. I'm, uh, I'm to find out where all the treasures are. So I really only looked up I'm, uh, the one I got stuck on last session, and ended up playing through the, the last area on, on, on Super Saiyan. I don't know if I got all the treasures, I didn't check. But, still. Alright.
God damn it. Come here. This is technically safer. Go! Now I'm, uh... Misfit, I had the right idea that I was supposed to light the fuse, but I thought I was supposed to... Break these blocks down here, and I thought it would like um uh, drain the water. Not the case. I'm a. Uh, I bring Burning Leo down as a partner, and he lights the fuse for you. Cause fireworks underwater. <laughs> it is the thing though. Like I should have known that would have worked, because I tried. Because I did stuff like that already. In fact, when I was um uh, trying to get bonkers to break those blocks. That's the exact same trick. They can use their abilities in the water still. I, I'm the only one who can't. Don't know why it didn't click. When frankly, it should have. So I apologize for that gigantic brain fart. What's important, however, is that we have every last treasure in um, uh, the old tower so we can finally get going. Only 15 treasures left. Yeah. Well, one thing, admittedly, I'm a little bummed out about is that, is that Great Cave Offensives' concept, I don't think ever got, uh, I don't think ever got reimagined or, like, redone in any other game. Which is kind of a shame, because I think this is one of the cooler concepts, just um, exploring a maze to try and find treasure. I suppose the closest um uh, would be Kirby Mouse Attack, but I don't think that really counts. Like you're you're collecting treasure, yes, but for very different um uh, it's a it's a straight port it's a straightforward path, not really a maze. And the only challenge is just trying to make sure you don't lose them. you don't lose the treasures to the squeaks. Wolf area, the garden. Actually, I kind of want a bird on. You know? Alright, never mind. Alright, through here. There we go. Gold watering can. 200,000G. Uh, all right, I guess. Okay, I I also forgot to check the falchion's price when I got it. Three hundred twenty-five thousand G. Also, I meant I hit X because I was trying to um uh, like open up the treasure guide like what it does in Superstar. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Well. Now my this dive kick here that I have to do here in order to um. Uh, get down this way? That was something my little brother sh showed me. I get it. Come on, I got it right my first try. There we go. A katana. 990,000 G. I'm at the 7 million mark. Jeez. Not very keen on ninja, honestly. Okay. So because I played this recently, um, uh, everything's still a little fresh in my mind, but not a hundred percent. Uh, no, I I need um a uh, cutter. Okay, so I believe it's this one? Yeah. We lose the one, but we can get down here. 
we can get this treasure chest. Platinum ring, 40,000 G. I feel like platinum would be more valuable, but what do I know? Also, funny thing, I'm uh, not long after I am uh, streamed Kirby Superstar Ultra, I, I began rechecking out clips from the Kirby anime right back at you. Okay, we're going a bit too far for the um for the boss tour, but I think there's also a treasure here. Easy does it. I don't like that, that the pants can latch onto you when you're flying. That's what got me killed last time. Okay. Easy does it. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. The Triforce. 800,000 G. Alright, this door here, this leads to the boss room. Uh, I'm going to be handling the boss later, of course. I want to get all the treasures first. And naturally, I'm going for a bomb again, because if any, if any of you have seen my regular Superstar stream, you know that I'm a huge fan of bomb. It's one of my favorites. Let's see. Uh... There's some wheelies and, and jet guys here. Uh, Capsule J's, I think they're called? Castle Genius, that's it. Alright, I need fire. Well, actually, I need jets. Okay. Oh, I'm getting rid of this. I'd rather give it to Chili, but he's deciding to be a bit awkward. Chili, get over here. Thank you. Okay. See ya, Poppy. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, I realized I didn't really finish what I was saying. I'm, uh, I ended up rewatching some clips of the Kirby anime. I'm right back at ya, the English version. I have to say, as controversial as this is going to sound, I think that's honestly, I think that's honestly the best anime four kids has ever dubbed. Okay, good. I got a bit worried there. There we go. All right. So end one. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I grew up watching that anime. I'm a, alongside I'm a, well, alongside playing Superstar Ultra. I have to say, it's de like as formulaic as it is, like it and how different it is compared to yeah, compared to the games. It's honestly a good watch, like both Japanese and English. Like I understand that a lot of people are kind of like I'm a a bit of a stickler for for the four kids stuff and. You know what? Rightfully so. I'm the kind of I'm a butcher a lot of things. Uh, Ramia scale 1,200... 12,800... Yeah. 12, 12,800G. Jeez, that was a... That was a... More difficult than it should have been. Yeah. I do feel like I'm a... I'm the Kirby one. Ah, damn it. I'm a... Is one of their best ones... Because like I'm a, I find a lot of the um, uh, English voice acting to be um, uh, quite good in their own way. Like a lot of people like joke about my um, DDD's like southerner accent or however it's supposed to be. But I don't know. I think it's actually kind of good. Like it's it's very entertaining to listen to. It, I mean, it also helps that I'm. Uh, 
I don't know who the voice actor is, but he, he really puts a lot of effort into it. It's it's all it's always a fun it's always a fun time to listen to it. So I believe it's this one. Yep. Kong's barrel, one thousand five hundred G. You'd think DK's trademark barrel would be more expensive. Guess it just goes to show how much Hal doesn't like rare. <laughs> But anyway, um, uh, I mean, I, I may also like um, uh, Dan Green as the um, uh, customer service guy. Oh, the sales guy from Nightmare Enterprises. I, I think he does a pretty good job. Shiny Bamboo, 600,000 G. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I've always found it um, enjoyable to, um, to watch. I, but if there's one thing I will grab about is that it can get a little cringy at times. Ah, shit. It can get a little cringy at times, but honestly, I think it is just just fun. But my, the, the, the one major thing I don't really like about it is that um, uh, a lot of the music has changed. Spirit Charm, 78,500G. And I'm... Um, uh, I might mostly like the Japanese version because most of it is like um, uh, remixes of the um, uh, games from the Kirby series. Sometimes they do feel a bit more fitting than um, uh, what the English dub goes for. Like, it's very one to one to um, uh, um the Sonic X anime's soundtrack. Oh, uh, the English one, of course. However, there are times when I feel like the English dub, like. Does um uh, nail it? I couldn't really give you an example of Tom Man. Oh, actually, no, I can. Um, uh, hang on. let me just see if there's a treasure here. Nope. Okay. Um, uh, it, in episode four, um, uh, Dark and Stormy Night is the episode with Krako. Um, uh, and the music pieces, uh, and that four kids uses to um. Uh, um, for some parts of it, especially like the big battle against Kraken near the end. It, I thought it was pretty good, all things considered. Uh, so now I think I've got everything from here. I've got everything from here, so the, so the remaining six should be here. Uh, let me just throw this away real quick. I don't really like Parasol that much. All oh, right. <laughs> Pegasus wing, 42,800, so five to go. But, um, uh, also, um, uh, that transformation music in the 4 kids dub, that I think is um, uh, very solid. Especially when um, uh, it's mixed with um, uh, Mike Kirby's um, uh, like tune. Um, in the Abusement Park episode it's called. But you know, it's not perfect, and I know like a lot of people like generally don't like it, or at least um uh, like it ironically. So I, I can I can sort of get that. I'm I'm probably one of very few people who likes it unironically. Um, in, um, in addition, on DeviantArt, I used to do a lot of fan art for Kurt right back at you. Not much, but I'm a. Uh, I might say a fair amount. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Get them. And the one problem is getting that treasure chest with that. Well, that Gordo's there. Here we go. Shell whistle. 82,000 G. Okay, three more to go, and I'm quite low on health because of that stupid Gordon. And the... Go! Got ya. Oh, I remember this. 
when I was um uh, playing this on my own, playing the um uh, regular superstar on my own, um uh, I got stuck on this one for hours because I was trying to find a way on, on finding an ability to bypass that. It you use crash. Okay, Oricalcum, 512,000G. I'm missing two more. I don't know if these are placed in order of when you would find them. But at least... Okay. But at least I know that, um, that they're in this area, which... Um, uh, that's one thing I will compliment Ultra for, is that they let you know um, uh, what you've gotten, as well as what area they're in. Because in the original... Um, uh, it doesn't separate them in, into four categories, so it's hard to tell which one you've missed. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes not so much, because it could, because you don't know if it's on the end part of the of the last area or the beginning part of the next area. Now I'm missing two. two. Problem is, is that I don't remember if they're past the boss or if I've just missed them somewhere. Oh, hello. I think I found something. I found something that wastes my time. Cool. Wheels faster. Um, admittedly, I probably should have just taken the warp star and went back to the beginning, but I also wanted to like retrace my steps just in case. Damn, not bad. So now I think I've been here. Yeah, I got her from here. Alright, quick healing and save. Okay. There's a maximum tomato there, but I don't think that's linked to anything. Let's give it a try anyway. Actually, that's a good question. How do you get down there? Uh... Yeah, I guess it's just this. Oh, yeah, fair enough. I'm pretty sure there's nothing past the boss, because I don't remember seeing any when I went when I went past the boss in, in the regular superstar, so it must be somewhere around between these two doors. Oh, uh, just just as remind, just let you know, this one here is just a dud. It's just meant to damage you, nothing more. I might have missed two in the cloud area, so let's take a look. I didn't make it, did I? No, I didn't. Try again. Uh, 
Did I try this one? Yes, I did. Uh, did I try this one? I might miss some about if I, if I didn't break all the blocks. I feel like there, there was at least one point where there was one hidden in a block, but no, this one's clean. Uh, how do I get to... there we go. Okay, did that one. Uh, did that one. I, know, I remember that one with the parasol. Did I do this one? Yep. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. Did I go in this one? Oh, no I didn't. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This was kind of a pain. Because the timing is really damn strict. Alright, wait for that to recharge. Ah, damn it. Yeah, you, you gotta jump over the ramp to avoid it. It's kind of sneaky like that. Oh, th that works even better. The, t the tire. <laughs> I forgot that, w that was a treasure. Alright, so only one left. Okay, it has to be around here. You know, not this time. Okay, let me just double check this area. Nah, nothing. Okay. Did I go here? Did, yeah. Huh. Got one treasure left. Wait, which one am I missing? It's the one next to the sword. Wait, there isn't something I'm missing here, is there? Shouldn't be, I already got the treasure chest. Unless it's past here. Now, I know I already did this. Yeah, nothing new. Also, it might be worth changing wheelie to some something else. Damn it. Alright, you know what? Go. Already did that one. I can't go through these. That that, that is actually impossible.
Okay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and fight the boss anyway. Just in case for some reason... It's um, uh, past the boss, which I don't remember it being. But I'm also willing to give it a try. Alright, so I've got Jim as my partner, and I've got Bombs as my main weapon. Here it goes. Wham Bam Rock. And funny story, Wham Bam Rock has a completely different design in the original Super Nintendo version. And uh, needless to say, it didn't go well. Look, like, just to clarify, it actually looks like the racist blackface. Now, being honest, I, I prefer this design anyway, not just because of that, but just because it actually looks golem. Way. Damn, I keep missing. Also, wouldn't be surprised if this guy was the inspiration to map for Master Hand in Super Smash Bros. And obviously, I'm talking about the original. Oh, see ya, Jim. I'm gonna lose if I don't, um, uh, start getting my crap together. Dead! Oh, no, you don't. I'm not. I'm not doing this about power up. Honestly, I just like bomb. It's. I'm very effective with it compared to all the others. Damn, I love the song. Uh, my favorite rendition of it has to be in um. Uh... Okay, it was from Kirby Clash Deluxe, I think it's called. But I first heard it in, in Star Allies when you fought Goldon and Zilvox in the in that game's equivalent to the arena. Yeah, I'm not saving you, mate. Done. Now, is there a treasure past here? I can always go back. Missing one last treasure chest. Bosses don't respawn, right? Good. So where could that last one be? Well, not here, of course. Let's try this way first. A 
there's nothing there. What about on the other side? Ah, oh, damn it, I was hopeful. Oh well. Uh... Actually, that one that needs jet, the middle one. Did I did I see everything? Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. So can't be this way. <sighs> Not again. I'll tell you what, though, it's a good thing I get notified when that um, uh, goes quiet, because, you know, everything goes quiet. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, when my microphone um, uh, goes out, I don't get any notification of that, and I'm just talking to nothing. Thankfully, though, that seems to have stopped a while ago. Alright, go for another quick heal, just... Because it's free. Also, why am I getting encoding overloads now? Come on, it's the it's the DS. I, I understand the DS is pretty forceful, but I'm a. Uh, I usually don't get encoding overloads when I'm when I'm using the DS catch device. Heal me up. You know, for some reason I thought I did have wheel. I don't think it's anything that, that needs suplex. Because like, think about it, I don't think there's any puzzle in the game that requires suplex. It's just a it's just something for a new power. Let's tell you the truth, I'm a... really feels faster anyway. So, a donut. Oof, that was close. Little guy, big boom. Also, I like that um, uh, the crash bomb uh, is, an, is an item in Super Smash Bros. That was a surprising amount of fun. So, I've got that one. Made a big deal out of that. Where's this last treasure? I don't want to look up a walkthrough either. I've been doing so well without it. Like, granted, I had to use one for the stupid torch in the water. Although, that was... That was 100% my fault. Okay. Is there a secret path behind that, behind that one-up?
Nope. Okay. Well, it makes up for the life I lost on the during the fight against Wham Bam Rock. Okay. Uh. There is something I want to check, actually. That was hopeful. Man, you get so close to that, it's irritating. Okay, so... It's not this way, no. Man, I am confused. Ozil, how is this outdoor garden underground? Just saying. This is getting like proper annoying because like I feel like I've been everywhere. It has to be some seriously obscure shit. Or I'm just being extremely stupid. Honestly, I could believe both. Fighting Bugsy for, the, for, for what, the 20th time? Let's head back into that area that has some that requires crash to open. So there might be something I'm missing in here specific in there specifically. Also, this feels like overkill to open a switch like this. I'm going to fix you up. Yeah, I'm really not seeing what I'm missing. It's not this. Not this either. Jeez, that takes off a lot of health. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with wheel for a bit.
Okay. We're already close to an hour in, that's the problem. Okay. You know what? I give in. I'm gonna go and check a walkthrough real quick. I'll be back in a tech. Okay, I'm back, and, um, uh, yeah. You know what? I don't feel as bad, but I still should have figured something out. Like, this does look suspicious. It's, it's a hidden floor you hide under, like you jump under. Charm, 800G. Okay, we're finally done.
I am so sorry. I should have figured that out much sooner. I don't know. I, I guess you fair, I don't feel too bad about that one. But I still apologize for wasting your time. And to be fair, when I was um uh practi when I was playing the original superstar for kicks, I didn't find that one either. So thank so thankfully, it wasn't at least one that I already got but forgotten. Alright, you know what? This is faster. Also, it's weird that they don't let you just get rid of a power-up, but I kind of see the point. Either way. Finally done. All 60 treasures, 100% completed. Also, where the hell did your warp star go? Alright, that's another mode down. I wish I was able to finish it a little quicker, like say half an hour, but... You know, I probably would have if I knew where every treasure was and did it a bit more efficient, but... In some cases, I kind of wanted to figure it out myself. So... I don't know. Still though, we got another two hours left. And um, uh, the next one is Revenge of Meta Knight. That one's not that long, if memory serves me. It's hard, but not that long. And yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but all of our money put together puts up to 9,999,990. So, we almost capped it at six nines. We just couldn't find anything that was just worth 9G. Surprisingly, I was surprised they left one of, them at, one of them at a zero. I felt like they would have... Made them all nines just to mess with people. He's like, well, is there a way to get 10 million? So, what's Kirby gonna do with all the. Well, I suppose he's gonna. I suppose he can sell it all for food. So, I guess there's that. Uh. But still, like, despite my frustrations, especially with Bonkers, who is a very bad team member, just gonna say that. Uh, that was still fun. And this is admittedly one of my favorite um, uh, modes as well. 60 treasures found, 9,999,990 G. It does make me wonder who's, who Kirby's going to pawn it off to. I suppose you can pawn it all off to DZ. I'm sure he wouldn't mind having you um, uh, selling all that to, um, to Kirby. Well, buying them off Kirby, I suppose. Mind you, DZ would probably just rip them off. Alright, so we do have a selection of um, uh, sub-games as well, but I'm going to cover those after I finish everything else. Anyway, next up is Revenge of Meta Knight. The mass source of Meta Knight disrupts the piece of Dreamland. Take down his airship, the Halberd. And this one I remember pretty, being pretty damn hard. Also, uh, this is the first game to introduce the Halberd, and <laughs> maybe it's because I'm a, I'm a. Uh, Sakurai has a bit of a bias towards the Kirby series when it comes, to, especially in Super Smash Bros. 
So the Halberd was definitely one of the most powerful ships in uh, Subspace Emissary. Like, it just swamped the, um, uh, Grey Fox. <laughs> and the Great Fox, no problem. Also, what's with this music? And why does Meta Knight want to rule? Like, I don't really think that's established. Mind you, I don't think anyone could ever get a read on what Meta Knight is like. I should command. All in debt, prepare for bout. All lovers, prepare for takeoff. Alright, here it goes. Alright, we get him, uh, this song. Alright. So, Revenge of Meta Knight is all timed... <laughs> are all levels of time limits. For the heavy love trap. See ya. <laughs> Got it. Just find the nozzle now. Ready for takeoff now. She can fly anytime. Hurry right up, where's the heavy lobster? Oh, there it is. Alright. And the heavy lobster is honestly one of the coolest looking um, uh, boss in the game. And I'm actually, actually kind of surprised they reintroduced it in the Kirby anime as, um, uh, <laughs> as one of Nightmare Enterprise's most strongest beasts. Well, robots in this case. And just because Kirby was dumb enough to be at the back um, uh, of the ship, he got blown off. Also, apparently, uh, his name is Captain Vol. Apparently, this is his ship. Why does it have Mad Knight's face on it? I feel like that's a mistranslation. But I don't get it. That's the thing. Uh, not that it matters. Sorry, to be fair, it's not like we see any of these characters again. Oh boy. Uh... Wing is much better for navigation. Rather than fighting. Also, I am dead low on health. Uh, you know what? Yeah, go for bomb. At least I can get some long range in. Until this. Also, Jim, I swear if you die. Yep. I'm gonna die soon if I don't um, uh, start getting my shit together. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll just say screw it to that food. Oh, right, auto scroller. It's weird, I played this the other day. You think I'd remember this? Oh, to be fair, I might have, like, I might have deliberately tried to forget just so I could, um, uh, re experience it properly when I get to the, um, uh, oh, this is, uh, I'm gonna start streaming it again. Also, I am not prepared for Ultra's add on contents. Because, like, for those who don't know, um, uh, these aren't just the only modes. There's a few extras. I might have explained them already in the previous stream, but yeah, um, uh, this has extra modes to it. There's, I want to say, ten now. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. This now it's it's wispy, I believe. So. Thank you. Yeah, it's Wispy Woods. Also, why do we pick on this guy? 
Mind you, I can imagine that like, he's aggressive to anyone that, on that intrudes in his forest. Alright, now we've got Twin Woods. Alright, so, so far so good. Just spam, just spam. Could be flying after us. Okay, main cannon's online. Show you fire. Fire away. Fire! I can't tell if Kirby's a lousy pilot or if they've just got godlike aim. Kirby said it's full in the woods. Alright, that should take care of him now. I wonder. In the store. Alright, cool. Thank you. Mind the cannon. Go. I hate tax, honestly. Whether they can just steal your allies or your copy abilities. Wait. Oh, this way. Let's have Mike. I don't think I've shown this off actually, but it's pretty cool. Death Ball! Death Ball! Not as entertaining in, in the anime. <laughs> Sorry, not as entertaining here as it is in the anime. But it's just as funny. Alright, probably gonna need wheel. Poppy? Poppy. Thank you. Oh, I need to be cool. <laughs> need to have better better reaction. Right, I'm gonna need some, uh, fire. Alright, you've got one job, and that's to help me. If you screw it up, you're dead. Uh, not that one. This one. That's why you need fire. Because the other cannons are fake. Hey, Dynablade. Admittedly, this does actually look pretty cool. They hit Dino Blade, unfortunately, but we're on the ship. Dino Blade's been shot down. But, but, Kirby is on deck. Relax, you must handle this calmly. Listen, you lovers, I want you all after that Kirby. I'ma get that there, Kirby! I prefer bomb anyway. Oh, that's a little dangerous. Also, kind of dickish. Actually, that one's more dickish. That one just leads to a dead end and a death pit. Go. All right. That's far enough, Kirby. Now you will know the power of Meta Knight. Fight. 
Also, yeah, apparently these guys are actually called Metamorphs. And their leader's called... I, I get the... Do you know what I think? I think Meta Knight is very narcissistic. Like, he's just full of himself. Like, he likes things that has his face or mask on it. Is it a fill of... Uh, uh, no, there's actually a sword power-up, which Bonkers took. You know what? I'll take it. Move, move, move. Wow, took him out at the same time. Gimme. Found? What is this place? Alright. Invincibility! Let me see if I can get to the next boss of this. You lucky son of a gun. Ah. And I had a bomb out, so I couldn't jump. Or at least I couldn't fly. There we go. So that is some massive damage. Alright, let's move on. Son of a- <laughs> I seriously thought that laser was gonna kill me. Hang on. Okay. Shit! I'm really, like, mucking up here a, a bit. You know, I'm gonna get rid of Jet. I didn't want to... Never mind. Oh, uh, yeah. Let, uh, let's go for Yo-Yo. Does it? Alright. Uh, you know what? I actually want ice. I quite like ice, Kirby. I don't know what caused that explosion, though. The left wing is destroyed. Damage to 74% of the wing. Arg! We're starting to lose stability because of it. Retract the sails. Give more lift to the left wing. Hey, where's Kirby now? It looks like he's inside the cabin now. Got him on radar. He's in the ducks. 
Alright, can I trust you not to get hit here, Capsule? What's he doing there? He's moving through the ducks now. Oh, good on you, Capsule. Is he lost or something? Wait, I thought of something. Hehehe. <laughs> What's through this door? Ah! Uh, now I'm good with what I got. Are we all ready? Are you really doing this? Hmm. I know we'll regret this. Shut it. Now's our only chance to finish him. This time we'll see it. Heavy lobster away. Also, this song is really cool. It's another song that, that's exclusive to Superstar Ultra. Must, must like Dino Blade's theme. Well, well, Dying Blade's theme has been in the Kirby series for a while, but it's, it, it was never used as a boss theme until now. Until Dino Blade. Move! Well done, Capsule. Yeah, this is a really cool song. Now, there's actually um, uh, something interesting about this one. Um, this heavy lobster can drop um, uh, a blob of paint. Oh, for goodness sake. So, like, th this is one of very few bosses that can actually drop paint, Kirby. And I want to see if I can... I want to see if I can get it to happen. Oh, it did happen, but Chili destroyed it. Alright, well. I guess to be fair, if I wanted to show it off, I, I would have went without a partner. Oh, let's just destroy it. We're on a time limit here, anyway. Alright, that's the right wing down. Looks like the explosion from Heavy Lobster took out the right wing. Hmm, hmm. Having both wings destroyed may be just what we needed. Kirby is climbing around the outside of the ship, heading for the helm. Now, don't... If you're going to use these barrels, be careful, because one of them is a trap. And it's that... Okay. Not that one, but it's that one above. If you if you aim down, you're dead. Okay, so it's not really a trap, more or less like you need to be careful. Okay. I kinda wish I had wing right now. Speaking of the devil. Alright. Oh, not now! Alright. I'll test the music in a minute. There we go. Oh, hey, Bobby452. Welcome to the stream. And you're from Iran. Cool. Not sure if that would kill me, but I'm not taking the risk. Alright, yeah, I needed to come down here anyway to hit that button. Oh, there that goes. Do I get anything? Nope. Oh, sweet! Yo yo. That's exactly what I need for this. No, my secret stash of food and one-ups. So, so you're the one holding them, you scallywag. They look delicious. Alright. 
Also, I realized, yeah, I did I did skip that one one up there, but I didn't want to like lose Chili. Like I haven't run into the haven't run into the trophy as well. Kirby set up for the reactor. If you lose the reactor, this is all over for sure. No fair, I don't think Kirby can do anything to the reactor. As long as the reflected laser doesn't hit the reactor, we'll be invincible. Nah, don't even say things like that. Thanks for the tip. Basically, you need to... Oh no, Chili can destroy it. Alright. Sorry buddy, you're just summoned. Yeah, I have to do this one solo. Alright. You need to have the laser aim for Kirby so it'll hit that reactor doing reflected shots. Be right. Yep. No, I screwed up. Also, not exactly sure if I can destroy it, but I'm uh I'll destroy the can, but I'm, I might as well try. I mean, I got nothing better to do while I'm waiting for the laser. Ah shit. There we go. Oh yeah, I can destroy it. Cool. Uh no. Damn it. Whoop! And dead. The reactor has been destroyed. All of our wheel all of our wheelie parcels are escaping. Ah, what are you idiots doing? Just one last thing to do. All systems fail. Number three and number five engines are gone. We're junk. Nothing left to do but crash. We failed. But there's nothing we can do. Potential crew, evacuate ship immediately. Ah, uh, the ship is done for. I gotta get out of here. Uh, honestly, I don't want to get a partner for this. You'll see why later. I'm escaping now. Don't think badly of me. So, now's the time for the rest of you to escape as well. I will stay until the bitter end. We should finish off with Kirby. Then we'll, then we'll escape together. You're all about to perish. Do as you please. Uh oh. Actually, you know, it would be a good idea, but why are there two maximum tomatoes? You really don't need two next to each other like that. One's enough. Wait, Kirby. I cannot let you go any farther. Nice, nice. Alright, just one left. And done. Lord Met Knight, please take care. We'll go on ahead then. This is the end, Kirby. Come meet your doom. Heart races. The fight against Meta Knight. And I'm doing this one on one. Meta Knight is tough as hell. Alright, I thought that would go all the way. Alright, going well so far. I remember back when I um, uh, played the original, uh, streamed the original Superstar. Uh, he kicked my ass several times. And he's actually doing a pretty damn good job of it again.
Okay, can't block that. Have to get above him. Got ya! And under the mask, another Kirby. Yeah, for those who didn't know, Meta Knight is the same species as Kirby. He can't do copy abilities like Kirby, but um, uh, he sure is damn good of a sword. Now for the final escape. I won't let you escape. dead nervous for this, because this is very easy to screw up. Especially since that Meta Knight won't actually kill you, he's just going to try and stop you from escaping with the timer so low. Done. This music is sick. With the Halbert crashed, Dreamland is safe again, until Meta Knight rebuilds it again a few games later. Yeah, that one didn't take nearly as long as last time. That was only about, what, 30 minutes? So yeah. Really cool. Um, uh, I was able to finish that one in no time, but unfortunately I think the rest of this time is going to be... I'm, uh, I'm taken up with the next game, Milky Way Wishes. Oh. Still though, surprised I beat Meta on my first try. That normally never happens. Especially, like, as I mentioned earlier, if you saw my um, uh, original Superstar stream, he killed me like three times until I eventually um, uh, summoned a partner to help me out. So I was glad I was able to beat him on my own this time. Also, not gonna lie, seeing Kirby uh, drive off into the sunset with this wheelie is admittedly kind of badass. I'm a little bummed out that wheelie isn't in Star Allies, but I get exactly why. With the way wheelie moves, it would not work in four-player cooperative. If anything, it would be an absolute nightmare. We can now play Milky Way Wishes. The moon and the sun are fighting. You must settle it. Help us, Comet. Comet at Galaxy's End. One day in the year unknown, the sun and moon began to fight day and night, and night and day. No one could really tell. Hey, hey, hey! Can you make peace between the sun and moon? You need to ask the giant comet Nova for help. First, there's something we must do. To ask no, we must gather power from all the stars around us. It'll be difficult, Kirby, but you can do it. We are counting on you. Good luck! <laughs> I've played before. Now, Milky Way Wishes has a very unique style that hasn't really been replicated in anything else. Uh, you can't get copy abilities. At least in a traditional sense. Look. See? I eat attack. I don't get copy Kirby. 
the idea is that um, uh, you're supposed to um, uh, collect something. Now, what I'm doing right here, that this is actually um, uh, a secret area. And with a crap load of attacks, which is cat backwards, because, you know, cat burglar. But it's also got these red, these red tacks and the crash bombers. Now, one-time use copy abilities are the only things you can actually get from enemies. Every other enemy does not give you a copy ability anymore. It's like you're playing the original Kirby. Which admittedly, I don't know. I'm thinking I might actually stream that. Stream that game myself. I forgot about that bit. Okay, so I'm just going to go over the um, uh, abilities real quick. Now, uh, as you know, like, um, there was that statue there that had the copy Kirby. Um, uh, long and short, I actually have the ability to permanently obtain copy abilities and swap between them whenever I so please, thanks to the bottom screen. Problem is, is that no enemies will provide copy abilities. Um, uh, so you have to find the statues in order to get them. Now, the secret is... Um, uh, Copy Kirby is the only one that can let you get a copy ability outside of the um, uh, outside of the rules. A flick of a touchscreen. Right. I'm actually gonna get rid of this. Cause I'm actually not keen on plasma. Although, surprised I got that. So my goal is um uh, to try and get every copy ability in um uh, I'm in this game. Problem is, I don't know where they all are, and they're hidden quite well. All right, so just slice through these. We can get to that door down there, which I believe has the first copy ability. Yep, this is the first you're actually supposed to get. Fighter. Now, I'm not really big on fighter, but it, it is a good copy ability. I won't deny that. Now, let's see. If I pause here, yeah, I can use the touch screen to choose what copy ability I want. I could have sworn that there was a way to see how many there were in each one, but I know it's free at least. And that's empty. Yeah, the idea of this stage in particular is that you need to go through the doors and it changes seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. It's like I'm playing Oracle of Seasons all over again. However, can't get past that, so we need to change the season to winter. I believe it's summer right now. Yeah. Ow. Yo, Wisp. Thank you. Now if we go through this door, and I think if we head back, there might be something for us. Nope, same thing. <laughs> I like that one ability just to place bombs on the enemy's heads. Yeah, I like that. It's a very slapsticky thing. Kirby's kind of about that. As well as dark, fucked up stories, really. If you want a good example, watch Planet Robobot. I better yet play it. No, seriously, I'm, uh, I'd highly recommend it. That, that game is. I'm a dark story aside, that one is actually really good. There go, go through winter. Get this little hole here. And we've got cutter. Nice, got bombs back again. Alright, 
All right, there should be one more somewhere. Okay, that big starter, that means that's leading to a boss. Now, like I said, there should be... Should be free copy abilities. Hang on. Maybe there are only two in this stage. It might not be a fixed number. Which admittedly, that's something I probably should have looked up on at least. Like, not looked up where they are, but at least, like, what numbers. Alright, either way, we've got Autumn Twin Woods now. Now, depending on which season you're in, uh, Twin Woods does change cosmetically depending on which one. Which really is actually kind of cool. Very nice touch, I like that. Alright, one down, one to go. Alright, also, apparently every planet has their own fountain of dreams. I mean, it's called Dreamland for a reason, I guess, but... I think if it flashes like that, that means it's um, uh, done. Also, just to point out, you don't have to do any of these stages in order. I can actually um, uh, I can actually go to one of the others if I wanted to, but I'm going to do them in order anyway. Alright, unfortunately this is a water stage, so most of my copy abilities aren't really going to work here. Unless I, unless I get one with a weapon like sword or hammer. Does it? Don't want to get gold, out. Oh, you're a fool. Right, these things suck you in. Let's also go underneath. Nice and tomato, one up, sweet. I'll get those later. Parasol? Oh uh, no, parasol works in the water. Alright. Yeah, I could use a small heal. I'll leave the maximum tomato there just in case. I need five. Yeah, that was a problem. Um, uh, that was a problem I came to when I was um. Uh, I want to play the original Superstar. Nothing here gives you fire. So, I'm gonna take a quick look around real quick. Oh, right, whoops. I don't know what I was thinking there. But also, I do really like the fact that I can just, like, swap between any copy ability I want at any given moment. Oh, crap. Uh... Well, 
Really? Oh, no going back. I think I might just have to get get the fire copy ability. And I'm uh, just br just bring it here. Taking a hell of a lot of pot shots because of these stupid Gordos. Well, I do like underwater stages. I don't really like underwater stages. Wow, I scoffed a lot. Plasma, what was up with you? Alright, well, hang on. No, right, shit. Forgot about that. Don't ask how I forgot, I just did. Also, hey, more Metica Knights. Ha! Just missed. Also, I think this is where I can get on the Sword Kirby. What am I thinking? There we go. Double cutter. Alright, that's it. Hang on. Okay, just making sure. Oh. Hang on, what's this? Someone, sorry, I got someone on the chat. It looks like a bot. Turn on the notification. If you got a follow from me, you probably don't have stream labs or stream elements in your chat. I'd highly recommend you get these for Steam for stream notifications. I'm good to streamlabs.com or stream elements. Okay, that was unexpected. First, I got that. And I, and I don't know. I'm uh. I don't think, uh, because of how unpopular I am for my streams, I don't think it's really worth it yet. I mean, odds are if I got a notification, that just means that someone's added me to their follow list, which I do appreciate. Okay, this underwater maze is a pain in the neck. So I know what the last one is. Okay, there it is. And I know that this is some, uh, one of the bad exits. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm, uh, you need to find the right door. Alright. Up. Oh, come on. Also, I just noticed on the bottom screen. I don't know if it's gonna... No. Um, on the bottom screen, there's actually, um, uh... And there's a checklist of copy abilities, so now I already know I've got I've got everything here. I wish I noticed that before. Hey, that's just a um, uh, that's just another reason why I believe I'm uh that's just another reason why I believe I'm a uh, Superstar Ultra is the definitive version of this game. It just fixes a lot of errors it had, adds more content, and to tell you the truth, it feels a lot less stiff. Because I'm uh, replaying um, uh, the original Superstar. Um, there was definitely a. Um, uh, I want to say jank. Don't know if that's the right word, but basically it felt really stiff. It felt really stiff and unresponsive compared to um, uh, this game, where it feels like I'm in full control. Uh, 
let's try down. Okay, let's try... this one. Fatty whale. I've... This one is always... This one is always annoying. Damn it. Alright, you know... Uh... I usually prefer to fight this guy indirectly, like using Mirror. But that's just not the case. Yeah, I probably should have picked Power Soul for the shield. Well, I'm about to die if I don't so I'm gonna sort this out real quick. And done! Okay, so. I never noticed the checklist below, so... Okay, now I got something else on, on my Steam page. What? Stream page, what's this? If you can view this message, that means you're qualified. Redeem game? That was for a bro oh, th that's just spam. Alright, hang on a minute. Is there a way to, like, get rid of that? No, I I'll just ignore it. Honestly, though. Okay, so someone want to check. Yeah, I'm missing one in Floria. Where could I be missing one? So I'm glad it, it gives me... I'm, still, I'm glad it lets me know if I've screwed up anywhere. Oh, hey! Wow, I'm stupid. Uh, back to map. There we go. <sighs> so, sorry, I'm looking at the chat again. I'm getting nothing but bots. Okay, so sky high, three more copy abilities to find. Anything up here? Nope. Yeah, in a way, you could consider this similar to Great Cave Offensive, but like, it's more straightforward. And the things you're hunting for are in some cases more rewarding rather than a completion rate. But well, you don't. I remember that one. Jet. Nice. Damn it. Alright, I remember this one being a bit annoying. I didn't make it, did I? 
Nope. Okay. Much better. And got wheel. Alright, so it's two out of three already. And I honestly do like wheel a lot, so. Alright, the maze. There's a lot of mazes now that I think about it. And honestly, the way I can see this is just like check every door. Oh, wait, hang on. That might actually lead to a, a new copy bit if I beat this boss. Nope, okay. Alright, this is the wrong way. Mind you, is there even a right way? Well, yeah, there is, otherwise there wouldn't be an end to this. Oh, invincibility lolly. Alright, so at least now I can check these a bit more recklessly. Okay, we've already been here. So let's try the middle. Nice! Got all three! Uh... I like wheel. Although, in an area like this, I think sword would be a bit more efficient. Actually... I'm gonna try it this way. Oh, nice. That was easy. What's this boss again? Oh yeah, I think it's Krako. Uh since you did a trick. Uh ish. Yeah, I better fix you up. Alright, uh... Oh, go for sword. I'm not what Kirby used to kill Krakow in the anime. Which he got from a lightning bolt shaped... Which he got from a sword shaped lightning bolt. That should have given him... That should have given him spark, Kirby. Oh, no complaints anyway. I'm just glad they introduced my favourite Kirby boss, Krakow. Uh, uh, hello and welcome to the stream of Kirby Right Back Hit TV. I can't tell if you're a bot or not. Wait, is that all free? Yeah, it's all free. Okay, so there's only two in this one. That's good. Yeah, this place is an ally killer. Yeah. Knuckle Joe, let go! Well, I'm going to have to play very carefully with this one. Unless there's, a, unless there's an invincibility lolly somewhere. Ow! You are about to die. Uh, you're not bots. Okay. Somehow I don't believe the other ones I'm um, uh, advertising for Roblox are um, uh, not bots. Nope! Oh, shit. So I'm a ben oh, it's a trap. Shit. If I go in here, perfect. Also, interesting color parts for these burning Leos. Uh, I don't want something I can um, uh, bypass these guys. Actually, I will do. There we 
we go. I must be a fan of the Kirby anime. Uh, I am Hoshino Kirby. Um, uh, I prefer the um, uh, English dub, however. <laughs> Kirby right back at ya. But, you know, I've always been known to have unpopular opinions. Uh, the ones that are advertised for robots are blocks you were lurking for a while. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Alright, so there's only one more copability here somewhere. Wait, I see it! Oh, it's a maximum tomato. <laughs> Whoops. Hang on. Oh, wait, no. That's a... That's a go-left one. Let's just keep going this way. Get away from me, Scarfy. Get away! Scarfy's a dead annoying. Stop! Okay, that's just gonna block the way, so that's... So remember. Uh, why not the Japanese dub with better and entirely different soundtrack? Okay, remakes. Oh no, don't get me wrong. Like, while I prefer the um, uh, while I prefer the English dub, I do think the Japanese version has better music. Like, it's just personal opinion, cause I'm a, uh, I'm a. Uh, I can't remember the theory behind it, but I'm uh, those who are exposed to like the first iteration of something, they often prefer that one. Hence why I'm, I'm hence why more people tend to prefer things like Japanese dubs over anime. Cause than English ones, because they see the English ones first. Sorry, they see the Japanese ones first. I just saw the English one first, and honestly, I'm also a bit of a sucker for the um, uh, voice acting for that for that one. I will admit, it... it... <laughs> Sorry. I mean, it is cringy, I, w I will admit at times, but honestly, it's just my preference. Damn, Scarface. Piss off. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, this. Uh, let's try this way. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, it's not going to let me back. Yeah, screwed up. I'm going to have to... Uh, did you know the Japanese dub has two different openings, and the ending and the Italian dub also have different openings? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I knew the Japanese dub had two different openings. But, um, uh, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about the Italian one. Hey! I wanted that! I could switch between copy bullets, but I wanted to spout paint. Because I, I don't think it to use that one. Whoop! Alright. One paint coming right up! Down for the count. Plus, when you watch the English sub, you're missing on cut cons from Jeff. Yeah, I have seen that scene where um, uh, Kirby has a gun, and I understand why um, uh, the English dub took that out. It is still funny, though, I will admit. Alright. Just because I don't want an ally for this. Hothead definitely has to be my least favorite level, because I do not like the amount of precision I have to do for this crap. Ah, shit. Alright. Uh... Go for ice. Ice. 
Oh, plus, um, can we talk to one of the Japanese dub previews? I'm um, just need. I'm um, just need talk a bit. I'm in the Japanese dub anyway. Like he normally says his special attacks. It's like I was rewatch. I was rewatching the um, uh, um the Japanese dub of when um uh, Kabu was Jet Kirby and he, and he actually shouted Jet Jetu Cracker. where I was. Unfortunately, this isn't an emulator, so I can't just save state and cheat my way out of this. There you go. You just chill there, mate. Alright. Oh. Uh. No. Wait, so where is the last copy ability? Uh, but are you sent all the openings and in this version to your Twitch whispers? Um, I appreciate that, but I've I've already s well, I haven't seen the Italian ones, obviously. Um, uh, but I've seen all the English and Japanese openings already. All right, let's just go back to map. How the hell am I missing one? I think the I think the annoying part is is that I did actually get this one when I was um uh, playing regular Superstar in my own time. All right, easy does it. So it must be something kind of obvious I'm missing. Some love you need to use the invincibility lollipop. I did already use it um uh, to get the fire ability. Damn it. Alright, you know what, never mind. Little shit! You know what? Oh, wait a second. Does that thing respawn? No. I just thought of something about that one lava area. Not gonna make it. Nah, nothing. Okay. I thought much like that lava, I had to I had to clip through it like an invisible wall. Whoops. Alright. Go in. Go back out. Hang on. Ow. Ow. Oh, nothing. Cool. Wasted my time. Wait. No, no. Nice. Uh, wow, that responds generously. <laughs> All right. Actually, now I think about it. Did I use this one? Yeah, I didn't lead to much. Anything that can let me actually, I do I? Yeah, 
Oh, you won't do the uppercut in midair. Uh, actually, ice maybe. You know what, this works. There we go. I should have known. That did look a little off. Alright. Right. You know, I could have skipped this one, honestly, if I wasn't going for 100%. I, I really do not like suplex. Alright. So... What time are we at? We're at two hours, so we've got an hour left before to call it quits. One second. Okay. Sorry, I was just fixing something. Alright, so we've got three more planets left. This is Carvius. This one is free. Also, anything this way. Okay, let's just move on. Alright, this is just nothing but bosses. I'm not using it yet. Let's try this way. Will this work? No. Got ya! I know that some of the bosses are guarding the, um, uh, the, the last cop versus. Oh, welcome back, Hoshinokabi. That just leads back here. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's just a maximum tomato. Not necessary. Appreciate it, but I'm at full health, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, these are definitely a lot more maze-like than I remember. Which is also weird, because I, I, I played this, like, last weekend. Alright, another puppy. Nice bomb! One of my favorites. Alright, two more in the area. Uh let's try up here first. I believe hammers round here as well, if I recall correctly. Don't have anything that can pound that down. Oh, but this guy might actually provide a um, uh, hammer. Nice. Another one of my favorites. Uh, okay, 
nothing here. Let's try it down. So there's one more I'm missing. Wow, just destroyed him. Alright, well, I can't go back, so hopefully the, um, uh... What's this about? Nice, the last one, the stone. Not super big on stone, but it's it's definitely good for um, uh, arena mode when I've just had enough. And just want to win without caring. Anyway, we're done here, and there's the boss. And it's Wham Bam Rock again. Nice, neat. Oh, it ran out. Okay. Alright, I should probably switch to a... Uh... Nice! I've forgotten how much damage Hammer can clock. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I took a... That was a bit too risky there. And... Down for the count. Alright, where are we at? Uh, 2010 minutes. Okay, so we've still got plenty of time. We'll probably be able to cover um, uh, one more game assist because we're nearly done. Alright, there's two in this one. Four, two. Okay. You never know with these summer uh, games. See ya. So I believe it's this way. Yep. Hey, thanks for killing each other. Idiots. Okay, I'm getting way too many. I'm getting way too, too many hits. Also, that's kind of dirty. That it leads you straight to a death pit if you don't react in time. Well, all right. Well, at least I got the um uh, lollipop. And it is most definitely for this bit. Alright. I should probably, like, grab a partner. Uh... Let's go for Knuckle Joe. And while I'm at it, I'll give myself... Let's go for Hammer again. I didn't really have a reason to throw it away last time. I just wanted I just wanted to do it. So yeah, I think throw... I think straight up throwing the hammer does the most damage, but I'm, uh... Like, obviously you get rid of the hammer. Okay, there's yo-yos about, so I imagine this is where I, where I get the yo-yo copy essence. 
Bingo! Alright, that's one out of two. I'm willing to... I can't remember where the second one is, but I'm willing to bet it's plasma. Actually, wait, do I have that already? Ice, yo-yo, bomb, sword, fire, parasol, fire, beam, cutter, wing, stone, wheel, jet, suplex, hammer, coffee. Nope, don't have plasma yet. Try to switch here. Come on. How do I get up there? Oh, do I have ninja? Nope. Actually, can anything? Can you reach that? Wow, you are a dead motherfucker. And no, it can't. No, I don't really have anything that can take care of that. Oh wait, maybe that. No. Okay. Okay, so that's a strong gust of wind. Can't do anything with that. Okay, well, hopefully the um, uh, copy ability wasn't there. I'm getting really good with a sword ability. And by that I mean I'm good at I'm good at doing the aerial stab to... Also surely one of these must have um uh, something. I guess it's just food. Also I would summon a helper, but I don't want to risk um uh, um uh, the helper like knocking away my combos like this. Okay, so that's to the boss. Let's ignore that. Oh, maybe that's how I get the, um, uh, switch from earlier. And, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm I'm mostly concerned about just getting the copy ability, so... I believe this is computer virus? No, it's heavy lobster. Ow. Wow, I can't believe I actually got him. Oh, 
Also, what happened there? Alright, whatever. Oh! Finish him with the power of art. I've recolored you. You are officially my DeviantArt original character. <laughs> I say this and I actually am a Deviant artist. He's talking about giving myself shit. <sighs> Alright, final planet. There's only two left. Uh, let me take a... Oh, it won't show me here. Okay. Uh, Half Moon. I believe the last one... I know... I'm pretty sure Ninja's in this group somewhere. Well, on this planet somewhere. Because I don't have it yet. Whoop! Okay, I don't think there was anything there. Hop and poppy. Alright, I'm trying to keep a careful eye out for anything out of the ordinary. Although... Oh, no, my mistake. Problem is that I can, like, over... Problem is that I can overthink a lot of things. Alright, we'll just go this way. That was close. Nice, mirror. I forgot about that one. Mirror's another one of my favorites, actually. Alright, so th this requires a cart or a hammer. Here we go. Now, I think I know where the ninja one is. It must be later on. Oh boy, we got company. Actually, uh, as much as like as much as I like mirror, it's more of a defensive ability. You're dead, Poppy. It was nice knowing you. Pop. Poppy popped. Go. Get down here. There it is, Ninja. The last one. Could just wanted to go up some springs for that, but I think I think I might be mistaking it for Great Cave Offensive. Yeah, I remember now. That was Great Cave Offensive. I, I was getting annoyed because my, my partner Biosparks kept screwing up my jumps. That was why I mistook it for Ninja. Alright. Uh, this is the computer virus. So let's bring in... Who do I want my partner to be? Let's go for Cutter. And I'll take Mirror. I love the concept around this one. I also can't help but think that this may be like a slight throwback to the Earthbound series. Because I'm a... I know how laboratories hel helped with I'm a, I'm a Mother 2 and Earthbound. I don't know if they helped with I'm a, the first one. But I know I'm that they helped with Earthbound. Wait. 
which uh, I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm ever going to stream that. I mean, I'm not against the idea, but like, Earthbound's one of those games where I think it's more enjoyable to watch than play. But that's just me. Also, I like Mirakirby's shield because it's completely invincible. So it's good for this particular type of battles. But it's it's too much of a defensive copy ability. Gets the first attack. Okay. Oh, it petrifies itself, so now it takes minimal damage. Yep. Oh, you're yeah, right. These reflect them too. Well, you're dead, mate. You tried. Forty-eight damage. This is taking a while. The helper is done for. That's okay. I'll summon another. Well, actually, yeah. Uh, Petrifies itself. Samira, use your shield. One hit point. Done. I, I, I actually, you know what? I actually want to part of this. Gain 116 experience, not that it matters. Heroism went up by one. Puffiness went up by two. Courage went up by five. Maturity went up by three. Softness went up by two. Friendship went up by five. Like, it's that kind of quirkiness that makes you think this that makes you think this was inspired by Earthbound. I think Superstar Well uh, sorry. I think Superstar came after Earthbound. Or was it before? Either way, Hal um uh, work I know Hal worked on it. But anyway, we got every star, we got every copy ability. Let's go ask the Comet Nova to stop the fight between the sun and the moon. Ready. I will grant you one wish. Well, I want to control Popstar. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I did it. It all went according to plan. I got the sun and moon to fight. I got you to go into space. It was all according to my perfect little plan. So now Popstar is mine. All mine. Now I can cause all the mischief I want. Ha <laughs> ha! See you later. Oh. Thanks to the stars we collected, though. We got ourselves a sick ride, and it's time to stop the Nova from from uh, from fulfilling Marx's wish. Now, the Sun and Moon are actually going to stop fighting and prevent the Nova from going any further. But anyway, it's time for the final battle. And we got ourselves a space shooter. Thankfully, unlike um, uh, uh, Gallagher and whatnot, uh, this is actually pretty simple. But I believe, 
I'm pretty sure this is the first game to implement the um uh, shooter stuff that future Kirby games would eventually follow. I know they kind of did it in um uh, Kirby's Dream Land, but that was like with um uh, that um uh, ability that makes some um, uh, Kirby puff up and shoot infinite fireballs, I think, or puff balls. That was only really for the Kabula fight. So the way it did kind of start there, since it's pretty similar, but this is like. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm uh, like cemented it, so to speak. Ow! This is going a bit too fast now. Okay, but I'm still in. All right, the Nova Core. Got to take out these turrets. Thankfully, they're actually kind of easy. Best way is to like get close to try and make sure all your shots. Get past it. Promise now it's gonna go backwards. The problem is Kirby won't turn around. So you actually have to um, uh, avoid the one pillar that you miss. Okay, two, my mistake. Ah, oh, come on! I gotta wait for the full rotation again. Also, this is a really cool scene altogether. Done. The Comet Nova is neutralized. It can't move anymore. There's just one problem, though. Uh, Marx is a little pissed off that we destroyed the Nova. Now, it's time to fight Marx. Marx is possibly the toughest opponent you could fight in Superstar, at least in the original. The remake provides tougher fights, but Marx is definitely the quote unquote final boss of Kirby Superstar. Now, one thing that makes Marx dangerous is that I'm a he has a wide variety of different attacks. He's not like anything else you've fought in this game so far. He is fully prepared for pretty much anything and he's got. And he's also got a giant ass fuck you laser. Also, he's got a particularly creepy design to him that's. Well, or something that's actually like somewhat cute but creepy at the same time. It's. He's got a really cool design to him. And I think that's why Marx is one of the most popular Kirby villains to date. Ah, shit. But we're almost done. Plus, almost fought valiantly. Oh, oh that was close. On. Just one more hit. Okay, two more. Got ya! <laughs> the Sun and Moon have stopped fighting? We beat up a creepy little clown ball. I'd say that's a pretty good day. And that's it. That's all of the that's all of the main games for Kirby Superstar. 
we're nowhere near done. We've got um uh, quite a few new modes to um uh, play in Superstar Ultra. The only problem I have right now is that I've only got about half an hour left, so I'm not really sure what I can do. Either way, um, uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, sorry. Um, and I'm super glad I actually went the full um, uh, 10 yards and went for 100% on all six um, uh, main um, uh, beginning modes. And I will admit, like, while I do like Mark, I do have one particular problem with him that, I'm, that I'd like to address. Um, uh, Mark pretty much has no build-up to him whatsoever. Like, uh, here's the thing. In the original... Sorry, in Superstar Ultra, you saw that cutscene when Mark uh, shows up and tells Kirby that he needs to get the stars. The problem is, though, is that in the original... Uh, sorry, I, I'm here. I, I'm getting ahead of myself. The problem is, is that I'm... Uh, that intro is the only time you see him until the final battle. So, I think it's very easy to forget about him. So with that, there's honestly no build-up to the fact that he's the twist final boss, and he, and he tricks you, because not only is it easy to forget about him, he doesn't add much until the very end, where he has that creepy final battle, but it's, it's an excellent presentation for his battle, at least. But here's the thing, though. In the original Superstar, um, uh, you don't get that intro when you play the game. You have to stay on the menu and wait for it to come up. So people could just straight up, um, uh, first time playing it anyway, could just straight up skip that altogether without realizing. So, so with that, Marx's literal only appearance would be at the very end of the game. Now... They do eventually fix this, like, well, A, they fix this in Ultra where you have to see the beginning cutscene. So you do see marks at the beginning of the game. But um, uh, they would eventually go further beyond with Magalor in um, uh, Kirby, in um, uh, Kirby's Adventure Wii, aka Return to Dreamland, where he's there throughout the entire thing, so him being the, the twist villain comes as more of a surprise, and I think his final battle is a little bit more fulfilling. I'm not saying that Marx is a bad villain. I think he's great, but we don't see enough of him. Because like, the most we get is this battle. Although, to be frank, he do he is popular enough to keep to keep reappearing, because A, there's a super Say, there's this remake. Uh, B, he's playable in Star Allies. He's a, um, he's a boss in Super Smash Bros. Ultimates. So, he's clearly remembered fondly, and I can understand that. I think he's brilliant. I can now play Revenge of the King and the Arena. Sound test mode has also been added. Uh... We've also got two more hidden here, uh, Meta Nightmare Ultra and Helper's Hero. You you probably have trouble seeing this because I'm uh, I'm uh, because of the bottom screen being all glitchy like that. But anyway, um, uh, let's actually do the arena first. That one's pretty short, and we've only got about half an hour left. Well, actually, we've got about twenty minutes left. So I'm gonna give this one attempt. And if I don't do it, then, oh well. I'll just try it again next week. Now, for those who don't know, although I imagine most people do, uh, Arena Mode is a boss rush. Basically, I have to fight all of the enemies, uh, all, of, all of the bosses in a random order with, with a set amount of HP. Now, who do I want as my partner? Uh, I need someone reliable. You know, because he hasn't gotten any um, uh, screen time, let's actually go for Bugsy. And... Actually, you know what? Because our first opponents are, are a bunch of mini-bosses, this will actually be pretty easy if I just be careful with the hammer. See?
Nothing to it. Alright, so we've got the cannon next. Oh, I actually will want to switch here. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Bugsy. Actually, you know what? Double bomb would be a bit more beneficial for this fight, because we need we need long range. Alright. Poppy, get ready to jump. Good on ya. Alright. Up, 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 up. Ah, uh, you nearly avoided all of it. And... Done. Alright, that's two down. Not bad so far. A uh, Camellio arm. And there's a bomb right here, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick with this. I'll tell you what, Hammer did not last long, unfortunately. Oh, I should have healed Poppy. Alright, you know what? It doesn't matter. Also, a little bummed out there isn't a paint helper. Then again, they wouldn't really bring the idea of a helper based on a one-use thing until um, uh, Star Allies. Looks like I'm on my own now. Ah, shit. Oh, that, that was quite a bit of damage, actually. Alright, it's gonna go this way. Ah, damn it, the tail doesn't count. Oh, either way, done. Alright, next up is... Heavy Lobster. I think I might want to go solo for this one. Uh-oh. Oh, that was almost... That was almost immediate regret. He's almost down. Oop! Now he's down. Didn't get hit once. Nice. Uh, Fatty Whale. You know, I want Mirror for this one. It's slow, unfortunately, but I'm, I'd rather have the defensive stuff for this one. Ah, damn it! Get it back, get it back, get it back! Also, the mirror, the mirror shield does damage him as well. Probably should have just left. Probably should have went without a partner. Yeah, I think the one problem I had when I was doing the arena in Superstar was that I kept trying to save my partner, which um, uh, led to a hell of a lot of deaths. Yeah, I think, I think it took me like two hours to do the arena first time. Nearly done. Done. Krakow. 
Uh, let's go for hammer. All right, first maximum tomato. Hammer's not going to be the most useful, but if I can just, but like it hits hard, so I'm hoping that like. Oh, it reaches! Sweet. I was worried that wasn't going to reach because I thought it was going to be too high. All right, lo 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 and la la la. Uh, I want yo-yo for this one. All right, I forgot. Max and tomatoes are replaced with mini tomatoes. I've been getting the best copy abilities for these opponents and for these bosses so far. It's brilliant. All right, one down. Got ya! <laughs> right before you got in that damn door. Next up is the reactor. Hmm. I should be fine with what I've got. If I lose Samira, I lose him. All right. All right, follows the AI. Wow, he's not staying still long enough to... There we go. Ow, right. Whoa! Okay, easy does it. Admittedly, this fight is a bit tedious. I think it's because you mostly have to wait for this one. Alright, that's that taken care of. Alright, two more hits to do the trick. Damn it. Alright, one more hit. We might have to might have to go overtime, unfortunately. But that is why I only said, like, I'm, uh, I'm only going to try this once. Alright, next up is the core. Okay. Did I take damage? No, I don't think it did. It also helps to memorize where these things are. Alright, so two more. Done. Oh, I managed to, managed to do that one much quicker than last time. Okay, next up is computer virus. Uh, I want to speed things up a bit, so I might have to get a bit more aggressive than than what I normally like with this boss. Right, this should be yeah, it's the wizards, magician. Just the first attack. Gosh, good start. Man, I wish I had hammer. Well, there was plasma there. I'm taking little bits of damage, but I should be all right. So next attack's gonna hurt. Yep. Down. Alright, dragon. 
Nope. <laughs> I think I can actually get cutter from these, but I'd rather not. I'd, I'd rather stick with swords. Oh no, I can get cut from this. But again, I'd rather keep sword. Got ya! I didn't take that much damage, thankfully. Waddle D. Okay. Done. Meta Knight. Oh, I have to have swords. Alright, well, no more one-on-one -on -one for this one. Ow. Oh, wrong attack. I thought it was going to be the tornado. Well, it was the tornado, but a different one. I'm about to die if I don't if I don't get my shit together. Shit. I was so close as well. Oh well. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. I'm uh uh, Hoshino Kabi, um, uh, if you're still there, um, uh, just want to let you know that I will be streaming tomorrow. I don't stream Kirby games all the time, so I'm not really sure if you're going to be that interested. But um, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be taking a whack at Persona 3. Uh, well, I said about I've been playing it for a while now. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, since you've been talking a lot about um, uh, trivia from the anime, uh, here's one I think you might know, but let let's see if you do. Um, uh, sorry, I'll let me just see if I can word this right. Um, Masahiro Sakurai, I'm 90% certain he was, um, uh, behind the Kirby anime. Um, I don't know, I don't know if he was the director, or, um, uh, if he was the one who just, um, dished out the idea. But, um, uh, um, he's gone on, um, uh, plenty of times that being Kirby is his favourite copy ability, yet... Bean Kirby does not appear in the anime for any reason whatsoever. <laughs> I'm pretty strange, I know. You might have known that, or someone else might have. <laughs> I might not. But, anyway, um, that's my um, little bit of trivia for this. But anyway, I've been enjoying this way too much. Now, I'm not going to be covering the arena... Actually, I might cover the arena next session anyway, just to finish it off. Oh uh, yeah, you know, I'll, um, next time I go back to this, I'll be doing the arena, but for now, tomorrow, I'll be going back to Persona 3. Hopefully. <laughs> Cock-ups have happened before. Well, either way, um, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.